Welcome to the Windsor Family Credit Union Center, where Terry Turner's here tonight. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to the Windsor Family Credit Union Center, the site of Game 7 of the National Basketball League of... Welcome to the Windsor Family Credit Union Center, where Terry Turner's here tonight. Good evening and welcome to the Windsor Family Credit Union Center, the site of Game 7 of the National Basketball League of Canada, the Windsor Express, hosting the Island Storm. Good evening, everybody. My name is Dominic Papa. Joining me is our color analyst on the floor here tonight, Mr. Royal Church. This all started way back in November, Coach Church, and these two teams have fought through many battles, and it all comes down to one game here tonight to claim a championship. How big is this game? Well, it's huge, Dom. It's, seventh games obviously are not like any other game. There's a lot of tension. Uh, you, you, can, you can never prepare for a seventh game. Coach Jones can try to prepare them all week, as can uh, Coach, the, Salerno. Uh, Coach Salerno, but it's impossible. It's what's in their heads now. If they've got confidence, if they if they uh, they understand what it takes to win in a seventh game, you either got it or you don't. Both these teams have won in each other's building, Coach Church. Does that factor in for the Island Storm coming here tonight? Does that give them a little bit of confidence despite getting thumped pretty good in game six? Well, I, I think theoretically it, it should, Dom, but I've noticed that when they lost that fifth game, out in the island, they really sagged. It really got to them emotionally. Uh, they, they were dragging. 
and they came in here and, and just folded under the pressure because Windsor's got a ton of depth and, and the offensive uh, potential for the Windsor Express is just off the charts. Speaking of that pressure, pick two players out here, Coach Church, one from each team that has to be huge here tonight, could be the difference in a victory. Well, for the Island Storm, Dom, they've got Nick Akori who can score like crazy, but the key to their team is Antonio Ballard. He's 6'5", 225, he's a horse, he can score from the inside, and you watched him shoot fall away threes. The guy can score from anywhere, he's amazing. Makes all his free throws, he is their key guy. When he gets 25 to 30, they win. When he gets 15 to 18, they can't win. Uh, so he's got to have a great game. For Windsor, it's pretty obvious. It's Darren Duncan, the guy who won the Westby Award for male basketball. Good plug in there. <laughs> yeah, they, for those viewers from Prince Edward Island, that's the Windsor Essex Sports Persons of the Year Awards. They were just in, uh, given out on Tuesday night. Yeah, and he's, he's the real deal. Uh, 16, 18 points a game, 10 or 11 assists a game. You'll know he's playing well when other people are shooting uh, dunks and layups when he's assisted them and got them the ball. He gets pe the right people the ball at the right time. All right, good stuff. We'll be following you throughout the night. We'll look for your uh, insight to the game. Thank you for helping us out tonight. We're going to take a quick timeout. We come back. It's the opening lineup, all the festivities, and the tip. It's Game 7 of the National Basketball League of Canada right here on we-tv.ca. More right after these words. Plan to dream. Plan to love. Plan to smile. Plan to succeed. Plan to invest. Plan to nurture. Plan to leave to others. Investors Group. Let us help you provide for the people you care about. Now and over time. The Plan by Investors Group.
Plan to invest. Plan to nurture. Plan to leave to others. Investors Group. Let us help you provide for the people you care about. Now and over time. The plan. Exclusive Clothing, the number one independent retail clothing store in Windsor, Ontario. Boasting the best deals citywide, over 5,000 square feet of savings. Prices everyone can afford. Big selection, and we pay the tax on all purchases. Check us out at 4897 Tecumseh Road East. That's Exclusive Clothing. The WWE will be at the WFC Youth Center May 9th, 2014. For tickets, call 519-969-1245. Mikulski Concrete, for all quality work in all types of concrete driveways, sideways porches, patios, garage and basement floors. Call Jason Mikulski at 791-3354 for a free estimate. The Ontario's Secondary School Teachers Federation District 9 represents public high school teachers and educational workers within the Greater Essex County District School Board. Educators working together to help students succeed in Windsor and Essex County. Hello everyone, welcome to the WFCU Center. My name is Brett Hedges and I will be your play-by-play -play commentator today alongside Mitchell Kobe K on the color. And we have the distinct honor of calling Game 7 of the National Basketball League of Canada final series as the Storm come into the WFCU Center and try and take the title away from the hometown Windsor Express. Mitch, you couldn't have written it up any better than this, do you agree? No, uh, I'm vibrating with the motion right now. This place is packed. The Express are about to take the floor. Game seven of the MBLC finals. What more could we ask for on a night like this? I can't think of anything at the moment of uh, anything like that. We're a few seconds away from player introductions of the Windsor Express. And the first player introduces number 10, Kevin Loisel, the Montreal native and Dawson College product. He's the sixth man for this Windsor Express team and all of energy off the bench, Mitch. He has. He's given them quality minutes all series long. He's big on the boards, plays great basketball in transition, and he plays defense. I, I like the game uh, he brings to the court. Papa Opong, the Toronto native, number 11, the shooting guard out of Eastern Kentucky. Provides a lot of depth at the shooting guard position and a sweet stroke from beyond the arc. He does. When he heats up from beyond the arc, look out. Papa Punk can drain those three balls. He's a big-time scorer when you need him. Speaking of three balls, here's Dominique Buckley, the former Toledo Rocket, Romulus, Michigan native. Number 14 provides depth at the backup uh, point guard position, and he's really been used... Uh, during this playoff. Yeah, he gives them quality minutes, he defends the perimeter, and he plays a uh, good solid ball from the point. RJ Wells, the Windsor native, was just announced to a large a large ovation from the hometown Windsor crowd. Eric Parker making his way to the floor now, the big number 32. Detroit, Michigan native product. Second string center. It provides a lot of stability on the inside for the Windsor Express. Speaking of stability, there's George Good, number 45, the former Louisville Cardinal. The backup center, number 44, and wow, he had a, quite a game on game six, Mitch. He, he got him going for the Express, if you ask me. It began with a three ball and a big block. Uh, George uh, Good was uh, perfect from the field. Uh, he got this team going, if you ask me. And now for the starting lineup of the Windsor Express, the first name announced is number 12. Floor general, as I like to call him, Darren Duncan, the two-time Bob Cousy Award finalist for a top point guard in the NFL, the recipient of the Male Basketball of the Year, uh, Player of the Year Award at the Westby Awards this past week. Quinnell Brown, the former Auburn Tiger, Starting swingman for the Windsor Express, and he had him quite himself. Uh, he's had a uh, himself quite a few good games in a row now, Mitch. Oh, and he's 
done a good job on Ballard for the most part. Certainly in uh, the home games for Windsor, I've loved his veteran presence on the court in this series. Big center, Mr. DeAndre Thomas, is a six foot nine, three hundred pound center. He's a he's a tough man to move on either side of the ball, and he'll be a big reason, for, uh, big key to success for the Windsor Express tonight. Yeah, hands down, you've heard me say it many times. Uh, the defense is anchored through his hands. He's as important as any guy on this team. Chris Commons was announced team captain. Enough said. He's one of the best players on the team on both sides of the floor. And here comes Stefan Bonneau, the second leading scorer in the league during your, during the regular season. And boy, he had himself quite a number of uh, good games out in PEI. 34 and 39 points in game four and five, Mitch. I think he's the MVP of this series uh, as far as the Windsor Express are concerned. Many players have contributed, but he's been lights out. Uh, the 39-point performance in PEI uh, to get that thing back here was uh, something special. Absolutely. The Windsor Express had the best uh, record in the regular season, and that's why they are the host of this seventh game in front of their fans, in front of the largest crowd of the WFCU Center this season. And for good reason. It's Game 7 of the National Basketball League of Canada Finals. We're just a few moments away from our national anthem. I'd like to thank you for joining us on we-tv.ca. From everyone across Canada and around the world, thanks to the wide, World Wide Web. Now we'll be serenaded with the vocal talents of little Ava Etzel. Wow, what a wonderful rendition of the National Anthem from little Ava Etzel. That girl is only five years old, Mitchell, and she's been killing it all playoffs long. She has a, a, the confidence in that little girl is unbelievable. Uh, she's a pleasure to have and to work with, and we appreciate and admire everything she's done this season, getting things going for us with that National Anthem. Well, Mitch, we watched as the regular season came and went for the Windsor Express with their 29-11 record. We watched through the first two rounds of the... Playoffs against the Mississauga Power and the Lightning, uh, London Lightning. Now it comes down to Game 7 against the Island Storm for all the marbles. Wow. Yeah, it certainly would be a historic championship if you look back in retrospect that they were down two games to none uh, going to London without Stefan Bonneau and then came out of another hole uh, where they were down three games to one and had to win on the road in PEI to get this thing back here. So there's almost a little destiny... Uh, in the air with this whole run that this team's had. Uh, but standing in their way is a juggernaut of a team with some offensive firepower, and that is the PEI Storm. Uh, and I, you know, I'm worried that Antonio Ballard's gonna wake up tonight uh, and some of the other talented players on that roster and uh, give Windsor a run for their money. We've had a great series and, uh, you know, I expect tonight to be no different. Having a moment of silence for some lost members of the Windsor sports community. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Always nice to pay respects to those who are no longer with us. 
And now Mayor Eddie Francis, the mayor of Windsor, who is in his last term, by the way. Well, Mayor Brett Hedges, maybe? Maybe. The He's mayor done a will good be job in the city. I've, uh, I, I thought Eric Francis has been fantastic for Windsor. Mm -hmm. Had the chance to shake the mayor's hand as I was walking courtside prior to the game. And He's done a lot for this city, and now he throws up the ceremonial tip. Gets a nice round of applause from the crowd here at the WFCU. And Chris Collins wasn't letting that one go. <laughs> hey. Captain Sirius for the Windsor Express. Now, Mitch, we've had a whole lot of questions at the beginning of the year and throughout the regular season. And now it comes down to the final game, and all those questions can only be answered by these 10 men. Yeah, it's not uncommon for the Storm to have five or six players in double-digit scoring on, a, on any given night. Uh, and I think that they have to find a way to execute on offense, and everybody needs to get involved for them to be successful. The tip is up and won by the Windsor Express. Game seven is on. Brett Hedges and Mitchell Kobe K on the call for you. Thank you very much for joining us on we-tv.ca. From anywhere around the world or across Canada, we thank you. Duncan gets it over to Commons. He drives to the middle lane, puts up a hook shot, and gets it to go. Commons going back to that easy money that worked in game six. I love Chris Common and the paint with that move. 2-0 lead for the Windsor Express. Jeremy Williams, number 11, gives it over to Antonio Ballard, number five. He swings, has the ball. Williams gets it back from Quinnell Brown. Gets the shooter's wall, but it rims out in the hands of Chris Commons. Gives it over to Steph Beneau, and here come the Windsor Express. Steph Beneau drives left. Tipped from going out of bounds by Quinnell Brown in the hands of Duncan now. Duncan gets it over to Quinnell Brown, over to the cutting. DeAndre Thomas goes off the glass too hard. Casey Love gives it over to Adrian Moss, the point guard for the Island Storm, and he goes to work. Finds Antonio Ballard on the... Antonio travel. And, to, and Ballard's had a hard time in Ontario, Mitch. Well, you know, it's the turnovers that... In the last game, they had 27, and uh, you're not going to win a, a game seven if you don't protect the basketball. I don't care who you are, so that's something that the PEI Storm needs to take care of. DeAndre Thomas going to work. Rises and shoots. Knocks it down. 4-0 lead for the Windsor Express so far. 10.30 remaining in the first quarter. Steph Minow guarding Adrian Moss. Nico Corey with it, the sniper for the Island Storm. Gives it over to Casey Love. He swings it over to Jeremy Williams. He kicks out to Ballard. Fakes his shot. Gives it over to Williams in the corner. He rims out. Rebounded by DeAndre. He gets it out to Quinnell Brown. Off the glass. Draws a foul on Moss. We've seen good ball rotation down there by the Storm, but they couldn't make the basket. They're going to need to shoot better than 29 for 78 like they did in game six uh, tonight. And I expect them to rebound, Brad. I don't expect this team to, uh, to, to have the offensive output they had in game six. I just hope Windsor's ready on the defensive end. Quinnell Brown knocks down the first free throw. 